Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So Transtech finally released a couple new frames and they're pretty badass to be honest. Uh, so let's quickly take a look at this one that we have today. We have the Transtech Laser DB5. Now this is a 218 millimeter quadcopter which means it's a 5 inch quad. And obviously you can put whatever else you want on there. Anything below 5 inches. Now as you can tell here they have gone ahead and went with the floss design. You know the basic concept. Or I could say it's inspired almost like a floss. A lot of companies are really starting to do this way for some reason. So huge props out for Kebab FPV. He's the guy who created the whole floss style. And um, just two thumbs up. And uh, obviously if it's, it's so good that everyone's just copying it now. Or just at least the design. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So this is pretty interesting here. It has 5 millimeter arms, a 2.2 millimeter top plate, and a 3.1 millimeter bottom plate. And they have these crazy rubber grommets here. If you're going to be using 30 by 30, and they even have holes for 20 by 20. Now, this thing, I mean, I've actually put it backwards. The, the arms are supposed to be up top, but I've tightened the living crap out of it. It's going to be a pain to remove everything. So another good thing about this is that the hardware is proper. The hardware they use is proper because for a quad or a frame like this, you need to get it as tight as possible to reduce any kind of vibrations, thus affecting the flight characteristics. So in terms of perspective of everything aligning, it aligned perfect. Uh, the hardware was excellent, absolutely phenomenal, and the arms are just humongous. I mean, let's just take a look here. The, this is just huge. This is five millimeter arms. It's just crazy. And the bend test, I'm literally trying to break it right now. And uh, oh my God, this is me trying to break it, not just bending it. I am literally trying to break it at the current moment of time. The cuts are perfect. Transtech really took their time doing this and the carbon they're using is absolutely phenomenal. And not only that, their cuts are just super clean. They're not chamfered, but holy crap, it's just, you know, it's proper. I mean, the drill bit here was proper that they use. I don't see any hard edges. I could totally see that they actually, you know, put effort into cutting this and making sure everything is perfect because I see no delaminations. I see the cuts absolutely phenomenal in here. And um, I'm just very impressed, to be honest. I mean, uh, to, to do such work, you know, I, I've seen a couple of Geb RC frames that had some delaminations, believe it or not. But here it's just, um, it's beautiful. It really is really nice here. Um, as you can tell here, they gave you these plastic pieces for your camera. Uh, and I believe this will only fit some kind of like a micro camera, not the HS1177 type cameras. But, you know, the 3D printed part isn't the greatest, you know, but I think it should get the job done. Um, I don't know until we actually, I really want to build this one, to be honest, because this thing looks like it's going to take an absolute beating. And it weighs pretty light. It's around 66 grams, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look here. So, like I said, it takes 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 millimeter uh, stack. So, it's 69 grams. Let me just double check. Yeah, 69 grams, which is pretty good, actually. I really like those rubber grommets. I don't know how well they're going to perform here, as you can tell here. Uh, they go through here, and uh, on the bottom here, it's tapered in. So, this will fit flush in there. So, it seems pretty nice. And, uh, obviously, the arms are supposed to be up top here. But, you know, I can flip it later on. But, overall, I mean, I can't complain at the current moment of time. Uh, mounting solutions, they have some cutouts for you for your VTX. The floss has like a little circle here where you could attach it. Kind of like the Eoshin Wizard, how it copied it. But here it's just not, you have to, you know, work with what you got here. So probably like a stackable AKK Ultimate VTX would be pretty good over here. It'll be pretty nice. And um, you could just do a lot. You have pretty much, pre you have pretty good amount of room inside. Let's actually double check the room, the amount of space. So we have from top to bottom around 24.94. So we could say 25 millimeters. So we have 25 millimeters from the bottom here to here. And then you could remove another three millimeters because of these uh, rubber grommets here. And they're pretty good, actually. They're not too, uh, they're pretty stiff, yet very flexible. So it's, it's very nice. Uh, I really like seeing that. And like I said, it takes 20 by 20 also. So overall, this thing looks like a pretty nice one. It's a pretty light build. And I can tell you, it seems like it can, it's going to take an absolute beating to take. Because I'm not only trying to bend it, I'm actually trying to break this thing. And, uh, and I can't. I really cannot, which is um, amazing. I mean, they, they, did, they did it right. They executed it correctly. And um, it's very nice to see. And overall, um, this is a pretty good one. However, it's a little bit on the expensive side at the current moment of time. But um, I see why it's expensive because it's just, you know, uh, the, the diatones, if I tried to do what I did, it would have broken the first half a second with the amount of pressure I was putting to try to break this one. They also have another one will be upcoming in the next video. I think it has like six millimeter arms. 
that thing is just insane, but it's obviously it's a little bit heavier. So overall, it's pretty nice. Um, it could seems like it's going to take a beating. Flight characteristics, I can't tell, but if you know they kind of took the same uh, concept as the floss, the hyperlight floss by Kebab FPV. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know how to go from there, but uh, overall, it seems like a good quadcopter. Um, the overall original design was from uh, the Hyperlight Floss. A lot of companies are doing it now. And like I said, huge props to him for coming up with this design. It's absolutely phenomenal. And um, yeah, and that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I'll leave a link to everything down below. They are affiliated links. If you could use them, that'd be super awesome. Or you can go ahead and support me on Patreon. I do a lot of awesome, cool things there for everybody. Uh, and that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.